Hey everybody, this is Larelia, and today is day uh, five. And so today we're talking about, um, uh, which is chapter two of the book, um, Your Credit Report Demystified. Um, in that chapter, I'm talking about, um, I'm introducing you to the uh, FCRA, which is the Fair Credit Reporting Act. That is the governmental, federal governmental um, body, or should I say agency, that actually monitors how information is reported on your credit report. So within this chapter, I'm introducing you to the FTC, because remember, a lot of the information that I'm sharing with you has not been readily available to the consumer. So a lot of the stuff that you're going to hear me talk about is going to be um, new to you, and it's almost going to be to the point where you are going to... Um, maybe not believe some of the information I'm going to share with you uh, within these 31 days. So in this chapter, what I do is I introduce you to the FTC, which is the Federal Trade Commission. That is the governmental agency that oversees how debt collectors are supposed to communicate with um, the consumers. And I also introduce you to the FCRA, which is the federal agency that monitors how information is um, put on your credit report. Uh, within that, I also talk about the FACTA Act, which stands for the Fair and Accurate Credit Transaction Act. This actually came into law um, back in 2003. Um, some of the legislation that was put into that act um, superseded parts of the FCRA. Um, what they added in there was um, information on identity theft, um, the way a consumer can dispute information um, that is on their credit report, and also uh, talking about uh, credit cards, debit cards, and social security numbers. So within this chapter, um, you're going to find um, some pivotal, pivotal, uh, got tongue-tied there, um, information that could um, help you. So it's a rather short chapter because, you know, like I said, these chapters are really short and to the point, but they give you the information that you need. And so there you have it. One thing that I want to also discuss, um, you will notice that within this chapter, I talk about the use of consumer disputes. Um, and right, the first line is a, it says a furnisher of credit is what the FCRA defines as a user who can access a creditor's credit report. So what that means is is that whenever someone um, uh, provides you with credit, uh, they have the use and access to be able to use your credit. Um, to access your credit report to make a decision on if they um, could furnish you or provide you with credit. Uh, so there you go. Um, it's a small chapter, but it really, um, the, the, meats, the meat and potatoes of the chapter really has to do um, with how false information that appears on your credit report has to be disputed by a consumer and should be cons um, be disputed because you have the right under the FCRA to dispute any information that is on your credit report. Anything that is false on your credit report is grounds for you as a consumer to dispute it. So there you go. This is going to wrap up day five. If you have any questions, don't forget to connect with me on my Facebook group. And also, if you want to access the book, I want you to go to uh, www.jumpstartyourcreditbook.com and there you will be able to purchase the book yourself. So again, this is Lorelia. I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Bye-bye.